Hey there guys, please Marcus. And in this video, I'm going to present you a few alternatives to Elementor. Now Elementor, I bought Elementor, I was using Elementor and I think it's a great tool that you can use to create uh, your WordPress website. But let's say that you want to switch from Elementor or just like you are interested in some alternatives, uh, you want to see some competition. So I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to talk about advantages of the competition. I would talk about also disadvantages. Now the Elementor, uh, what is the huge advantage about Elementor? What I think is that uh, you can connect it with plenty of plugins and make it really complex, yet you can make it also simple. Now that's a huge thing. And also that you can just have your own domain and then you have one time fee. So with a Elementor, you just pay uh, simply $49 a year and you're covered. Now let's go to the competition. The first one that I prepared for you is Wix. Maybe you heard about it, uh, but Wix got some advantages and some disadvantages. The first advantage I personally see, and it's also disadvantage, is that you can move it as much as you want. Like you can move and transfer elements wherever you want. This is advantage only because um, you can really play around how your website is going to look. Like if you're someone who uh, likes everything perfect and you want to play around for weeks and weeks about how the website should look like. Wix can be a good platform for you. But there is a disadvantage that if you want to actually build a business, if you want to build something meaningful from SEO perspective, really good, I wouldn't recommend using Wix. Only because Google loves responsibility. Now with the Wix, you need to do the double edit also for desktop and mobile. And that's the first thing. The second thing is that uh, with the elements just jumping around wherever you want, what can get it can get really messy and Google will say, okay, your site is not responsive. So you really need to play around with the Wix website to be perfect. And it's really important. So Wix is good alternative, but keep in mind. Now, the next one is Weebly. Weebly is, I would say that younger brother of uh, Elementor, but the huge advantage is that it's not on WordPress. The pricing is monthly and you got everything covered and it's pretty cheap. Now with the Weebly, what I would be um, like curious and just like careful is that if you would write Weebly into Google, you see that popularity is dropping every single month. So I will be careful about using Weebly. I like I added here because like it's an alternative that you can use. I don't say it's bad. I don't say it's good. It's just alternative that you can try to build your own website with. From my perspective, Elementor is more complex comparing to Weebly. Then we're going to have Webflow. Webflow is um, like open source system that you can build your own website with. Um, the important thing on Webflow is to have your own knowledge of HTML. That's a recommendation. Like you won't be able to build a website if you don't have any knowledge about HTML. So Webflow can be good alternative. The learning curve is much higher on Webflow, um, but yeah, it's like it's possible to use it. And I would recommend like if you want to, you can do it. Now, the next one is Shopify. Shopify is a good option too that you can use for creating e-commerce stores. So if you have been using on Elementor, and you're creating store, you can do it also on Shopify. And huge advantage about Shopify, from my perspective, is that if you want to use Shopify, um, you can have plenty of applications that you can use for cross-sell, upsell, for affiliate, for SMS marketing, etc. And it's like really great. Now with the Shopify, there is a disadvantage that I see is that they have the additional fees using all payment providers other than Shopify payments. So let's say that you would be using PayPal, you would be using Stripe. And then not only you have to pay a fee to Stripe and PayPal, you have to pay another 2%, 1%, 0.5% .5 to Shopify. Another thing is that it's like pretty expensive. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind when you want to use Shopify. And yeah, so Shopify for e-commerce is the top notch, is fast. And there's a disadvantage of Elementor, of using Elementor, that mm, you can have actually, how would I say it? If you're going to use Elementor, um, you can have plugins in WordPress and you need to update them all the time. And if the person who created the plugin or the company don't update the 
plugin when the WordPress is going to be updated, your site won't work properly and it can get slow, etc. Now the next one, the last one I prepared for you is a Squarespace. Squarespace, I would say is like the biggest and the best competition to Elementor. And because it works on the same style with um, like with elements, with when I come here to templates, account dashboard. Let me show you create a website and I'll show you how it looks like. So start with the bail art. It works really similar comparing to Elementor that you just like, okay, skip, edit. You add a section here and then you can simply add the blocks, right? And if you want to create presentation website, Squarespace is a way to go for you. I really believe in it. So this is pretty much it. To summarize this whole video, guys, I would definitely check out uh, Wix if you want to really play around with your website. Then Weebly is a good competition too. Webflow, if you know HTML. Squarespace, uh, if you really want to build pretty presentation website, I would use Squarespace. Shopify, if you want to go with uh, the e-commerce. And then we have Square, and Square is good competition so that they can use only because you can create your own e-commerce store with it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.